had escaped from the destruction of our homes in Farthingwood, but now our journey to White Deer Park Nature Reserve was dogged by danger. The most terrifying fire swept across the army land. Fire! Look! Ah! For the newts, there was no escape. But Toad, our guide, was rescued by the great courage of Fox. We feared that Mole, too, had perished. But as the humans put out the flames, to our great joy, he reappeared. With our bonds forged strong by danger, we set out on the next stage of our journey. Glad simply to be alive. It's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head on the back of the bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. Ha <laughs> ha! Lovely weather! Soothes the scales, slithering through this. Nice. The little ones are falling behind. I'll soon speed them up. She didn't mean it. She did, she did, she did. What? Every time. <laughs> Sorry, the shrews bumped into me. Come on, move. What's going on back there? High spirits, mateys. High spirits. Come on. Sounds more like bad temper to me. I suppose I'd better investigate. You panic? Take that. Do something. Don't just stand there. She insulted me. <laughs> I'm not well. Howdy, cowardy, cows. started it. No, it was Weasel. Don't start arguing all over again. Look, I know it's hard going. Can't you try to remember that moment when we all stood together against the humans? One for all and all for one. Yes, Fox. Yes, yes Fox. Fox. It's all very well, but I'm a martyr to my rheumatism, you know, and that bump didn't help. Shh. I'm sure we'll find shelter soon. Come on, I'll take some of you on my back. Oh, yes, thank, thank you, you Fox. Fox. Speaking of birds, where is Owl? Oh, if she's got any sense at all, she'll be tucked up nice and snug underground. Owl? <laughs> well, under a bush then, whatever. Look, I think I can see the boundary fence. We can shelter under the bushes. <gasps> there, that's better now. But what have you done? I just added a stray feather to your tail, dear, to hide the burnt bits. Oh, it do look lovely. What kind of feather? Well, I think it's one of owls, actually. That dowdy female? 
Beggars can't be choosers, pheasant. You should be grateful. Grateful? What? To have her feathers in my beautiful tail? Stupid bird. Take it out at once. <sighs> as if any other creature had feathers anywhere near as handsome as mine. I was only doing my best. Peace. Perfect peace. Stop squabbling. Can't you see Fox is tired? And look at all the others. Welcome, Badger. Ah, thank you, Kestrel. Not much like home, is it? Any boat hole in a storm? You never said a true word, Al. Personally, I'm just glad to get out of the wet. Rain's coming in. You don't have to tell me, Badger. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He bumped his head on the back of the bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. How does a barn sound to your mateys? Hey! A dry barn sounds like heaven. Where? Not far. Too near humans. No. I knew there was a catch. Any boat hole in a storm? You said that before, Owl. She's still right. Come on, Toad. Lead the way. Ahoy there, mateys! There it is! Yes, but is it the one we're looking for? It's a barn, matey. What more is your one? Don't worry, they don't like rain. Oh, I'm getting too old for all of this. Mm. I like this. This is cosy. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Toad. What do you say, Fox? It's that open door's got me worried. Just till it clears up, eh, Fox? Kestrel's in a plum tree keeping watch. Pheasant will relieve her later, and I'll take my turn when it's dark. There now. Nothing can go wrong, can it? If you say so. All right. Get some rest, everybody. Ah. <sighs> Sleep, not getting any younger. Well, I'm awake, so I suppose there is no need to wake anyone else, is there? Going to collect the eggs, love. Bruno, come here now. <laughs> what the boxes? Oh, not again. Where were you, eh? Call yourself a watchdog. You're not worth feeding. Oh. Useless mongrel. What <laughs> use are you, eh? You big cur. Oh dear. That doesn't sound too good. Better go and wake the others. You're a waste of time as a farm dog. I wish I could sell you, but you're a useless canine waste of space. <laughs> what have you... Oh. 
What was that? A gun. Did panic? <laughs> I'm not nervous. What? The... Run for it. Help! <laughs> We're trapped. We're trapped. <laughs> Save your skin. Guard that door and guard it well. Because if that fox escapes, you'll be as dead as this bird. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> you wait till I've reloaded my gun, Fox. I'll get my own back on you. You see if I don't. Check the windows. They're shut. I'm afraid your wife's going to be the farmer's dinner pheasant. Where? Where is she? Poor oh, pheasant. No wonder you were so scared all the time. Just because you're paranoid, it doesn't mean they're not out to get you. <laughs> there must be some way out. Ow. This is going to take some thinking about. Mum, she's fallen asleep. Gah! That fox is done for this time. He'll keep. Your dinner won't. Oh, women. <laughs> this is silly! Shh! I've got it. We can dig our way out. Dig? Dig? Who's the best tunneler? Why? Mole, of course. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm no use to anybody. No use at all. <laughs> well, I've got a good set of teeth. So have I. And me. We could help. Come on, everybody. Get chewing. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Blooming useless dog. Oh, if I could get my teeth into you. Watch it. My bite's worse than my bark. Try that for size. Oh, there's thanks for you. Better. I'm here, old fella. Could you follow me along the tunnel, widening it as you go? Do you think some of you others could come down here to shift Earth? Coming, Badger. I'm coming. Jolly good. All for one, one for all, eh? Hello. Is that you, Badger? Yes. I think we're nearly there. How's it going, Molly? We're out! Well done, Mole. We're out! Come on! Mole's out! We're out! <laughs> I'll get dirty! Peasant, get down that tunnel at once! <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh! 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 Stand aside, Bruno. Get out of the way! <laughs> what? Oh, go you! You stupid animal! Bruno, out of the way! 
this'll teach them. What's over the hill? I seem to remember. There's a sort of wood. Owl, what can you see? The path goes straight down past farms and houses to a copse. You could hide there. Can the smaller animals make it? Stupid beast. Oh. I might as well settle down to a long snooze. Safe here as anywhere else. A little more to do, to do. He's coming! I see him! Gee, keep going! When running away, watch your back, Fox. I know what you're getting at, Al. The weakest are at the back, aren't they? It's you he's after. Then it's me he'll have to deal with. <laughs> what are you going to do, Fox? Badger, take charge. Get them to the cops. See you later. Good luck, Fox. <laughs> Well, dog. Well, Fox. I suppose it was me you wanted. My master wants you dead. So? He wants every fox dead. You killed his chickens. Oh, no, I didn't. Liar. I'm not the only fox around. You're here. Ah, oh, I see. Any fox will do. That it? Your master must be very stupid. Well, how dare you? To kill one fox because another hurt him. That's the same as kicking you because his wife's burnt his dinner. Huh? He does too. I mean, does that make any sense to you? Uh, no. But you still haven't told me why you were lurking round the chicken coop. Not for the taste of chicken. I don't even like them. Too many feathers. A chew. Uh, you're a right one, aren't you? Joking at a time like this. All right. If it wasn't for the chickens, what was it for? Didn't you see the others? What others? My friends. Not foxes, but rabbits, mice. Hedgehogs, toads, birds, all kinds. I'm tired after all that digging. I'm so sorry, but if I offered you a lift, you wouldn't want it. I never do it. Let me go in for mountain climbing. Permit me to push you, madam. Quite right, Kestrel. No point standing here. Consider that without the hard climb, there could not be the easy descent. Come on, everybody. Not much further. Your friend? We've taken an oath of mutual protection. What's that when it's at home? Well, we've sworn to look after each other on this journey we're doing to a nature reserve. Even humans can't hurt you there. Uh, pull the other one. True as I'm standing here. You're true to your name, I must say. Very cunning. But you can't fool me. Oh, no. I'm taking you back. I'll get a nice fat reward when my master sees you're dead. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. You won't. He doesn't want you to kill his fox. He wants to do it for himself. All you'll do is rob him of the satisfaction. All right, suits me. I'll take you back alive. Sorry, can't oblige, old son. If you want me, you'll have to kill me first. Oh, I don't know. First, my master blames me for not catching his fox. 
Then when I've caught him, he still blames me. That's about it. You got me tied in knots, you clever dick. You should have caught the right fox. That's all there is to it. Wild animals. Oh, they'll be telling me the cat's made a friend of the mouse next. I know that can't be right. Oh, no, I should make a friend of the cat. That can't be right either. Now, what am I to do? Go home, I suppose. <laughs> the poor dog's been so mollycoddled by humans. Everything done for him. He's lost the few wits he ever had. All the same, you are quite heroic. Oh, you would be. So be there now, mateys. Oh, lots of good things to eat there, too. Hooray! Ah, my poor old bones. Ooh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Mole. Just couldn't stand a minute longer. Lovely soft earth, Adra. Now, don't get too carried away, Molly. You know what happened last time? <laughs> My poor wife. Yes, we must be nice to him, dear. Do try. <sighs> it's only now she's gone. I, I realize how much she did for me. <laughs> Who's going to dig for my grump now? Oh, I draw the line at that. Oh, there's a nice hoard here. Hmm, they look nice. Find us keepers! That's not fair. All right, what will you give me? Share! All for one and one for all. I prefer the all for one bit myself. <laughs> you know, life's too short. Wake me when it's dark. I'll eat then. <sighs> I do wish Edda would flick out her tongue and... Ah. No sign of the others. Hmm. Better go in search of supper, I suppose. Edda! We've left her behind! Oh no!